Did you know that ChatGPT can now take over your browser and complete tasks for you? Or maybe you didn't know that you can now share your screen with ChatGPT so that it can see what you're looking at on your phone. ChatGPT just released dozens of AI feature updates, a new agentic browser, and so much more. But it's hard to keep up with all of these changes. It's even challenging for me, and I run an AI consultancy firm. But here's the good news. You're not behind. In this video, I'll teach you the most important updates that will take you from ChatGPT beginner to pro. Ready? Here are some quick wins that you can start using right away. To share your screen with ChatGPT, open the app on your phone and tap the soundbar icon on the far right of the prompt box. Tap the three dots and choose share screen. Then ChatGPT can help you with anything on your screen. And while we're in here, if you tap the camcorder icon, ChatGPT will be able to see what your phone's camera is looking at. This is called computer vision. And there are endless ways to use this in everyday life. For example, I love gardening, but I wasn't very good at it. It can be from a mineral deposits if you've been misting your plant, or it could be powdery mildew. Um, let's take a closer look and see if we can figure it out. Great. All right, so if it looks kind of dusty and wipes off easily. Now, I use ChatGPT Vision to find out what's wrong with my plants and get instructions on how to fix it. You might use this to translate signs or menus while traveling abroad, to magnify text that's hard to read, or to troubleshoot something in real time. The important thing to understand is that we're only limited by our imagination when it comes to AI. Another hidden feature that 98% of AI users miss is ChatGPT Record Mode. This is ChatGPT's new AI note taker and transcription tool. It lets you discreetly record meetings and video calls. It then writes down everything that was said and makes a list of things that you need to do. It's like having an assistant take notes for you. But there's a catch. It's currently only available to paid users on the ChatGPT desktop app. That said, this has been really helpful for me when joining video calls hosted by other people. Oftentimes, the host won't let my AI note taker into the meeting, which is super annoying. But now I just push the record button in the ChatGPT prompt box and it records everything. Next up, ChatGPT connectors. What are they and why do they matter? Connectors let ChatGPT connect with apps that you're already using, like Gmail, Google Drive, Outlook, and Canva. This brings the power of AI to your entire workspace. You'll need a ChatGPT Plus plan or higher, as this is also another one of those paid services. But if you're on the $20 a month plan, you're good to go. I tell all of my clients they should pay for at least one large language model. Large language models, or LLMs, are just AI chatbots like ChatGPT from OpenAI, Gemini from Google, and Claude from Anthropic. So pick your favorite, and if you're able to, pay for the base monthly plan. Before I show you how easy it is to set up AI connectors, here's what you can actually do with them. Let's say you want a daily briefing to help you prep for the day. With ChatGPT connected to your calendar, you can ask ChatGPT to give you a summary of the day's meetings and obligations. And you could even take it a step further and instruct ChatGPT to prep notes for those upcoming meetings. Or maybe you want to understand how happy a client is with your services. For that, you'd tell ChatGPT to analyze all the emails with Sign Now from the past six months, summarize how their sentiment and goals have shifted, and flag any opportunities to improve the client relationship or upsell them on additional sponsorship opportunities. Connecting ChatGPT to your email, calendar, and other tools makes AI actually useful. This feature is still in beta though, which is worth mentioning because it's the slowest it will ever be. Setting up connectors is a simple process. Let me show you. In ChatGPT, go to Settings, Connectors, then select the apps you want to connect and click Connect. Log into your accounts to activate the connections. You'll need to approve permissions for the first time, but you'll only have to do that once. To use connectors in your AI chat, you just need to choose Deep Research in the prompt box, then click Sources and toggle on the app or tool that you want ChatGPT to use for that query. You can select more than one. That's it. The next AI feature that you need to know is ChatGPT with scheduled tasks. This was rolled out in January 2025, but most of my clients didn't even know it existed, and now they can't live without it. 
tasks lets you set reoccurring or one-off reminders. For example, I set a scheduled task so that ChatGPT summarizes all of the AI news for me each morning. You can take this a step further by connecting scheduled tasks to ChatGPT's voice assistant, but I'll cover that in a minute. To set a task, you need to be using ChatGPT's O3 model. To change the model, you'll tap the ChatGPT drop-down window on the top left of your browser. Different models are good at different things, but it can be confusing remembering which model to use for which task. So here's a trick. There are two main types of AI models, chat models and reasoning models. For ChatGPT, the regular chat models will have the letters GPT in front of the number, whereas the reasoning models all start with the number zero, like 03, 04. The important thing is to understand that chat models are the jack of all trades that excel at everyday tasks, whereas the reasoning models are best for complex tasks that require deeper thinking. Now that we've switched to the O3 model, we can ask ChatGPT to set a scheduled task. This might be something straightforward, like send me weekly deals from local restaurants in my area every Friday at 5 p.m. Or you can get creative with this and do what I call feature stacking. For example, when I activate ChatGPT's advanced voice mode from my home screen and say, good morning, ChatGPT knows to give me the weather for that day, followed by any relevant AI news summaries. Check this out. Good morning. Good morning, Tim. So today in Miami, it's looking like a sunny day with a high of about 85 degrees Fahrenheit. And in AI news, there's been a lot of buzz about new updates to OpenAI's GPT-4, making it even more efficient and creative. Okay, so you get the idea and you can customize this to you. This works because I set good morning as the trigger word in my ChatGPT custom instructions and linked it to scheduled tasks. Here's how to do it. Tap your profile picture from the bottom left of the ChatGPT browser window. Select Customize ChatGPT. In the box titled, What Traits Should ChatGPT Have? Type your instructions. For example, mine read, Advanced Voice Mode. When user says, Good morning, respond with the local weather forecast. Next, give a summary of all the recent AI news. Bonus tip. If you have an iPhone, you can add ChatGPT's voice assistant to the home screen so that it's easy to activate. So as you can see here, I actually have the widget on my phone screen. Then I just tap that icon and I don't even have to be logged in. So it's the first thing I do when I wake up in the morning. I get the weather and the news just by tapping this button on my home screen. You can have 10 scheduled tasks at a time. And if you need to change or delete a task, you can do that by tapping your profile picture, settings, notifications, and then the small text that says manage tasks. Okay, stick with me because this next one is something everyone gets wrong. ChatGPT projects. Most ChatGPT tutorials tell you that projects lets you organize your conversations with AI. This is the wrong way to use projects. Here's how the pros use it. Turn ChatGPT projects into micro automations for tasks that you find yourself repeating. For example, I get a ton of emails from AI brands that want to sponsor content on my YouTube channel. Responding to each email individually isn't sustainable. So I created a project that does the heavy lifting for me. Now I simply screenshot each email from a potential sponsor and paste it into my ChatGPT project titled Sponsor Requests. Without giving any additional context, ChatGPT drafts response emails for each one and includes the current sponsorship rates for the different types of branded content that I offer on my channel. Check out this video to learn how to set up custom instructions inside ChatGPT projects. It'll save you hours each week. If you want to try OpenAI's agentic offerings, then this next AI update is for you. As of July 2025, ChatGPT is in the process of rolling out its new agent. With agent, ChatGPT can now do work for you using its own computer, handling complex tasks from start to finish. This is currently being rolled out to Plus and Pro users. So here's how we might use this. Activate agent mode by tapping tools in the prompt box and selecting agent. Then type in what you want the agent to do for you. For example, I might ask Agent to analyze competitors and create a presentation for me with its findings. I've tried Agent with a handful of tasks and it's definitely significantly better than OpenAI's Operator, which you may remember was the company's first agentic offering. When I say agentic, I just mean AI that can do things for you. Think fill out forms, browse the web, run code, etc. Agent also works with ChatGPT connectors. This means it can do things like look at your calendar and brief you on upcoming client meetings. That's really useful. 
but the few times that I tried it, it took seven plus minutes each time, which defeats the purpose since I could check my own calendar in less than half that time. That said, if you're already on the paid plan, it's worth experimenting with because this is the worst it will ever be. So to recap, the biggest ChatGPT updates as of July 2025 are AI screen sharing on mobile. ChatGPT can now see your phone screen when you talk to it. This means you can show ChatGPT what's on your phone and it can actually help you with what it sees. ChatGPT record mode lets you record meetings and calls. ChatGPT connectors let you link your favorite apps like Gmail and Google Drive to ChatGPT so it can help you with your emails, files, and calendar without switching between apps. ChatGPT projects lets you create special AI helpers for tasks that you do often, making your work faster and easier. Scheduled tasks let you tell ChatGPT to do something for you for a certain time. Meanwhile, ChatGPT Aging completes tasks for you using its own virtual computer, working from start to finish without you having to help. Sometimes it'll ask you to come in and take over for certain things like if you need to put in your credit card. AI is changing super fast, but after watching this video, you now know more about these cool features than 90% of people using ChatGPT. If you want to be ahead of 100% of AI users, then don't just subscribe, but hit the bell so you're the first to know when I upload new videos and new ChatGPT cheat codes.